York. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Paul Quinn, and tonight I'm speaking as an individual in my mind dump rather than doing it for work. So all opinions are my own. And I feel the urge to talk about Terry Nation, creator of the Daleks. If you're like me, you went through a phase of thinking Nation was an old hack, that he was an ideas man, but all the best bits of his work were produced by other people. Genesis of the Daleks, that was clearly the work of Robert Holmes. Dalek Master Plan, well, that was Camfield, Tosh, and any other number of people. Actually, there's probably some truth to that one, isn't there? If you read um, About Time and the accounts of the nation just dumping scripts on people's doorsteps and then running off to America. But nation did give us the Daleks. And if, like me, and you're old, and you remember when Terry Nation died, you'll remember in DWM, Jackie Jenkins, that brilliant column that she used to write. I think she spoke for us all, didn't she, when she lamented how we treated Nation. <clears throat> And she went through, on the night he died, what episode of Nations to watch that would best typify the man that we'd all kind of come to despise as being rapacious and just looking for money and stopping us having fun. And then, of course, the punchline at the end is she doesn't choose an episode with the Daleks. She doesn't choose anything from Blake 7. She chooses something from Survivors, probably Law and Order, one of the bleakest pieces of television ever made. But I think we need to continue this um, re-evaluation of nation he was good he had a long career there is something that he often appears to be at the end of programs it's kind of a, a sense of just missing things with nation but he is good he did give us the daleks he gave us davros and he gave us marinus which is what i want to focus on here in this very short video just to see if anyone's interested and marinus we might dismiss as kind of a run around basic nation lots of jumping around the place the conscience element in the machine might give some credence to the fact that the production team were ripping off Anthony Coburn's other ideas. You know, the idea of a conscience in the machine in the, in the unmade Luxor script. But one good thing about Marinus is there's more than one continent. There's more than one country. There's more than one race. More than one culture. And actually, that's more than just one thing, isn't it? But then I've had quite a lot of port, which is why I'm on here now, feeling brave enough to defend Giza Marinus, which might look like a piece of reheated sub Flash Gordian tat. But actually, the fact that there's more than one country and more than one culture shows that nation is thinking. And he's thinking in a way that a lot of other later Doctor Who writers don't think. On the mind dump, you may have seen and watched very briefly quite a boring lecture about Doctor Who's relationship to fairy tale via Tolkien and Lewis. And one thing I talked about during the work of Farrah Mendelssohn and um, Joseph Rex Young is the idea of immersion that Tolkien talks about at length in his um, groundbreaking lecture on fairy stories. This idea of immersion where you have to believe absolutely in the sub-creation or the secondary world. And the minute you stop believing it, you stop, you stop believing it, you, you kind of fall out of the spell of that world and the spell is broken. And we believe in Middle Earth, I think. We don't necessarily always believe in Westeros and, and other locations. And we don't always believe in the worlds that are created in Doctor Who because the, the money isn't there, the time isn't there, and that's not always how the program is working. But Marinus, with its multitude of cultures, its break away from the idea that all planets have one race one language, one culture, and they're often hostile. There's an attempt there to create an immersive space, a believable world. Because if Earth has multiple cultures, why wouldn't an alien world? And so I would suggest we should put Marinus alongside those believable, immersive spaces, like Rebos in the Rebos operation, even though it really is a terribly overrated piece of work and shows Holmes on a kind of decline once he stops being script editor. The decline that's there certainly in the sun makers but rebus i think we believe in that planet and we believe in the society that we see in robots of death but i think we also believe in marinus or at least there's enough there 
to indicate that there's something more going on in that construction. And so therefore, we really do need to look again at Terry Nation, not just his construction of the Daleks, but also Marinus. Android Invasion, however, remains a god-awful piece of shit. Thank you, and I'll see you again when I'll probably be talking about Curse of Fenric, Vampires, and Sex. Good night. <laughs>